Hello and welcome to this top 10 list of legends in One Piece Treasure Cruise. This list will only include legends available on the global version of the game. If you are quite familiar with the global version, you might already know that there are only 10 legends in the global version of the game, so this is more of a review of those 10 characters. When building this list, we had to look at many criteria for what made a good legend. Some of these things include how flexible that legend is to use on a team, its power in terms of its stats and its special, and how easy it is to use. As legends are legends, we can assume that most of them have pretty good stats across the board, but their captain abilities and specials vary wildly, and so there were a lot of things to consider when building this list. So kicking it off at number 10, we have Boa Hancock. Her captain ability boosts the attack of quick and psi characters by 2.75 and their RCV by 1.5 times. Her special recovers 15 times her RCV and delays all enemies for one turn. So why have we considered Boa the weakest legend of the current 10 legends on Global? For starters, her stats are pretty bad considering she's a legend. Monster Chopper, a raid boss, has more attack, and her HP is only reasonably impressive. She does have one of the highest RCVs in the game, but this is not an overly impressive quality for a unit. Her captain ability is very similar to many other current Legends captain abilities, which is a 2.75 attack boost to units. Many other Legends have this ability. And her second aspect of her captain ability boosts RCV, which again, this only really comes into effect when you get a meat orb and you have no way of influencing, at least with just her, the chance of getting meat orbs. Delaying for one turn is hardly impressive, especially in someone with a Legend status and in my opinion, heals aren't overly impressive in OPTC. Her captain ability does provide some flexibility, allowing you to run both quick and psi units, but because you are required to be above 70% HP to access this ability, it's probably safer to run her with an Anel captain for the heal instead of running double for the extra damage, and having to then run Anel for the heal restricts you to only quick units, negating any flexibility Boa provided you. So in summary, Boa hardly deserves the status of a legend and is the obvious reason we have put her at the bottom of the 10 current legends on Global. As you'll find out later on, she is quite overshadowed by some of the other 2.75 multiplier captains to come up on this list. Next, at number 9, we have Strong World Ace. Whilst being very low on our list, he is a legend that holds perhaps the most potential of any other legend on this list, which is quite ironic considering <laughs> Hashtag spoilers. So what do I mean by this? Ace's captain ability boosts shooters HP by 1.5 times and their attack by 2 times unless they have a matching orb, in which case he boosts them by 3 times. His special reduces your HP by 40% and then does 15 times that amount of HP lost as typeless damage to all enemies and also locks all orbs for one turn. Strong World Ace has the potential for a large amount of burst damage if you can get matching orbs and the way to do this involves many characters that have yet to be released, these being Hercules and Zephyr. Unfortunately, there are rumours that Zephyr may not even come to Global but if he does, there is good potential for Ace to become an effective burst captain that doesn't require any rare recruits, mostly raid bosses. Although you may have some trouble in the earlier rounds because of your poorer damage output, this is mitigated by the fact that you'll have tons of HP, which lets you tank a lot of hits, so you'll have time to get your specials up. So yeah, strong world Ace, lots of potential, kinda hard to use, might be good. At number 8, we have Black Clad Shanks, or Strong World Shanks, whatever you prefer. Shanks' captain ability is basically just an improved version of his base form's captain ability, which increases the attack of side units by 2.75 
if HP is full. As your HP decreases, the attack boost goes down. He also increases the likelihood of Psyre orbs appearing. His special deals 35 times his attack in side damage to all units and also reduces armor to zero for two turns. This special has some potential utility but is generally not amazingly effective. Legend Shanks has a lot of the good points of regular Shanks and a lot of the bad points of regular Shanks. He can only boost Psy units so your team has to be all Psy units which means you're limited to the things that you can clear with him. He also becomes even less effective than regular Shanks if your HP is cut for some reason during the run. But his ore boosting effect, especially when you're using two of him, is actually remarkable. He quite often gets you matching orbs. Not much to say about Strong World Shanks. He's okay, not great, pretty consistent, but nothing special to be said about him. Mera mera no mi wa... At number 7 we have the newest legendary released on Global, the revolutionary Sabo. Hashtag spoilers. Sabo's captain ability is very similar to that of Strong World Shanks, as he gives you a 2.75 attack boost to free spirit if your HP is full, but he also gives a 1.2 times bonus to all characters HP and RCV. His special I find particularly impressive because it's just cool. He gives you a 1.5 times attack boost to free spirit units and then a 2 times attack boost in the next turn if you hit all perfects in the previous turn. This special frees up one slot in your team as he already provides the class boosting special which allows you to bring extra utility. For instance a healing unit which would help you to maintain his captain ability. Sabo is currently the best free spirit captain available and there is very little wrong with him both his captain ability and special are very good and the only reason he is this far down the list is that captains further along are more interesting and impressive but Sabo is very consistent and should be regarded highly. Highly? Highly. Use the second highly. As more free spirit units come out he'll become even more impressive. <laughs> At number 6 we have Marco the Phoenix, first division captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Eridon Lord of the Burning Legion, King of the Andals, Mother of Dragons, to give him his full title. Only two of which are true, can you guess which? If not, you're an idiot. <laughs> so how is he similar to Boa? Well his captain ability also gives a 2.75 attack boost to Sai and quick characters. But instead of an RCV boost, which is pretty poor, he gives a consistent 30% damage reduction whilst your HP is over 70%. This is far more useful and, again, consistent than an RCV boost, which is relying on me orbs appearing. The similarities do not end there. His special also gives a big heal, but also boosts orbs by 1.5 for two turns. So as you can see, he's very similar to Boa. Almost exactly the same, just better in every single possible way. And so he deservedly is much higher on the list, but still only around the halfway mark. At number 5 we have Mihawk, the world's greatest swordsman. Mihawk's captain ability is yet another 2.75 multiplier, but this time for slashes and it is not HP dependent. Instead it is dependent on how consistently you hit perfects. His special deals half the damage you dealt last turn as typeless damage. Mihawk, like Strong World Shanks, is another example of a legend that is very similar to his previous version. However, he has better stats and a higher potential for damage output with his special, the only drawback being it has a slightly longer cooldown at max. And that with his special you cannot do all your burst damage in one turn, it has to be spread over two turns. Unlike some of the other units on this list, Mihawk's special means that he's not only a great captain, but can be very effective in other teams that can put out large bursts. And now we move on to the Yonkos of the One Piece Treasure Cruise Legends.
At number four, we have Rayleigh, the Dark King. Rayleigh's captain ability does not give a passive attack boost to your units. It instead gives a four times boost to your chain multiplier. This means that with two Rayleigh's, your chain multiplier on your final hit will be at 25 times. This means that your first attack will do very little damage and become incrementally greater as your attacks go, making it difficult to fight large mobs as your first attacks won't be enough to kill them. Also, it requires you to consistently hit perfects as any misses will mean that you do almost no damage in the turn and greats will not confer nearly as much of a multiplier. But if you are only fighting one enemy, then two Rayleigh's will put out more damage in total than a 2.5 and possibly a 2.75 captain. And because your final hit will have a much larger multiplier than any other captain would provide, orbs on that last character will also put out a much greater damage. He's a very flexible captain, offering no restrictions on who you can bring on your team, meaning you can bring many utility units without suffering in terms of damage. His special does 20 times his attack in init damage to all enemies and also reduce bind duration for 5 turns. For a legend this is a pretty mediocre special which is why he only takes the 4th space on the Yonko list of One Piece Treasure Cruise Legends. At number 3 we have Sengoku the Buddha. Sengoku's captain ability reduces the cooldown of all specials at the start of the fight by 2. It also increases the attack of himself and any units with 20 or less crew cost by 3 times. Sengoku has the most consistent 3 times boosting captain ability in the game. He is very useful for quickly clearing story mode and Fortnite. Unlike other captains such as Rayleigh, his full potential was not unlocked until you evolve him because he doesn't boost himself until he's evolved, only units with 20 or less crew cost. He is not as useful in the late game for clearing the more difficult opponents because he, you are limited in which units you can bring to defeat them but is still very useful for story modes and fortnights. He beats out Rayleigh on this list because of his special, which deals random side damage but also boosts everyone on the team by 1.5 attack for one turn. This along with his reduction in cooldowns to specials makes him great for speedrunning the easier islands. <laughs> At number 2 we have Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. And boy does he earn that title. Whitebeard's captain ability gives your entire team a 3 times attack multiplier when your team's HP is below 30% and his special reduces the enemy's HP by 30%. Objectively Whitebeard is the best legend in the game. His captain ability allows you to output the most damage in the game and his special is very consistent possibly one of the best specials in the game. Also he's very flexible offering no restrictions as to who you can bring on your team. What brings him down to the number 2 place is his difficulty of use. In order to make him work you have to achieve a HP of 30% and then carefully try not to die whilst defeating your enemy. This usually requires a lot of planning and previous knowledge of the stage you're about to run and sometimes meat luck in order to avoid dying. Being at 30% HP puts you at a lot of pressure because if you miss out on the kill it is likely that you will be killed in return and so every perfect is critical. In summary Whitebeard is a very simple captain, he's incredibly powerful but requires a skilled player to use. And at number 1 we have the Pirate King, Log Luffy. Log Luffy's captain ability increases attack by 4 times after hitting a good, great and perfect. Not only does this rival Whitebeard's damage output in terms of captain abilities, but it also allows you to heal with meat orbs whilst not sacrificing damage output during the turn. 
It is still a skill based captain ability as you must be able to consistently hit a good then a great then a perfect which may require some practice before you can consistently do it. A running theme for the Yonko, he is a very flexible captain and any unit can be used with him. His special does random typeless damage and gives him a strength orb, so basically power on power. This special is not great utility compared to the other captains in this list, but he's an effective combination of Whitebeard and Rayleigh and so is deservedly in the number one spot in this top 10 legends list. That's it for this video. If you disagree with our top 10 rankings of the One Piece Treasure Cruise Legends then please let us know in the comments and leave your list down below. Feel free to like our Facebook page and join us on Twitter to be entered into a chance of winning either a Log Luffy, Rayleigh or Mihawk account as well as getting updates on our future videos and check out our other videos if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time my Nakama!